yeah hello everyone welcome to tech learnings so today we are going to talk about a few terms that we frequently use why while we develop apis these terms are not necessarily related to your means softwares they are basically in general you can say they are generic terms which can be used in other industries as well for example your manufacturing sector yeah, or in other I means industries as well so it's not necessarily related to software development only but yeah if you are a developer if you are a web developer particularly if you are I means a developer who is involved in development of APIs then I think these terminologies are very important for you to understand in fact when uh, I was doing development of APIs I was uh, working upon them I also used to hear these terms frequently somebody asked me what is the throughput of your API somebody asked me what is the response time I think response time is uh, response time is something which I think everybody must have heard of right processing time latency right latency is another word uh, which you must be aware of what exactly we mean by latency okay so today we are going to this session is about all these four terms latency response time processing time and throughput we are going to understand how these terms are different from each other what exactly do they mean and by the end of this session i'm quite hopeful that uh, you will be aware and you'll be able to explain to anyone that what these terms mean we will be like uh, since we are into software so we will be particularly focusing upon the software side of the things not like I said it, these terms are generic so they are applicable to other industries as well but our purpose is to uh, means understand it uh, in terms of software or in terms of APIs you can say that as well okay so first let's pick the very first one response time which is the most easiest of uh, these four and uh, so what is the response time so response time is basically suppose you are sending a request from your web browser to the server and uh, how by after how much time did you get the response means a, re a request is sent from browser and browser received the response that the time span that the time gap that occurred that is the response time for example here i'm using a google doc only so let's say i'm typing something right so as soon as i typed a and all the changes are saved in drive so how long does it take that is the response time so it's the full you can say from request till we received the response that is your response time so what it includes it includes the time taken by the request to reach the server right then server time taken by the server to process that request and then time taken by the response from server to client right so th this is combination of three things I again repeat to, for understanding purpose response time is composed of time taken from uh, uh, time taken by the request from to go from client to server right for example client can be a browser or it can be another, anything else as well so from client to server okay then time taken by server to process that request fine and then time taken by the result of that request to reach back to the client right so this is what we mean by response time cool so it is three factors you can say three things are there in this journey taken by the request from the browser and till the time we receive the response so this is response time now processing time we already understood actually while understanding the response time so processing time is the time taken by server to process that request means it took the input when it received the input and it produced the final response right so that is the processing time 
got got the point so processing time is the time taken by server to process that request and what we mean by process means take the input perform the computation or whatever logic is being uh, is to be applied execute that logic and then produce the final response so this is all happening at server level right so this is the processing time of the request so i hope the response time is clear processing time is clear now we move to latency so what exactly is latency for example let's first try to understand in a very generic way uh, if uh, let's say your system stops responding or your application you must have encountered right everybody must have encountered those scenarios where your application becomes very slow for example suppose your google chrome or sorry your google doc becomes slow when i type a it takes time to show this a alphabet right that is where we can say there is latency so latency we understood the response time let's understand it this way we said a time taken by client to server right if this is actually what is making latency that that is what we call latency so time taken from client to server and again back from server to client right so this is what we mean by latency this delay or this communication which is happening over network how much time is being spent over there that is latency for you fine if your browser is sending the request to server fine and suppose this is the time time taken for the request to reach the server and again back here time taken by the response to reach the browser that time which is spent over the network you can say that is latency right i hope you understood let's try to understand uh, it in a generic way or in a real world example suppose uh, you are uh, let's say on a telephonic conversation with uh, a person in us for example so you said hello okay and you are in india suppose there is a conversation going from india to us so you said hello from india and that guy who is there in us he heard your hello after let's say 2 seconds so that 2 seconds gap is what is latency then he said how are you so and when uh, after let's say 2 seconds you heard that his words how are you so this time gap of 2 seconds and 2 and 2 you can say 4 right so time from server to client and client to server this time gap is latency so this communication the time which is being spent over your network over uh, the wire you can say that is your latency fine so we can say now that your response time right your response time is made up of two things one is latency and another one is processing time in simple way response time is a combination of two parameters latency that is the time spent over the communication channel and processing time the time taken by server to produce the desired result fine now what about the fourth term which is called throughput so throughput is basically let's say for example you have an api you have an endpoint how many requests can be served per unit of time how many re requests that your api your server can take per unit of time now when you say unit of time it is up to you to say that i can handle only let's say 100 requests in one second i can handle only let's say 1000 requests or 10000 requests in a minute so that unit of time is you are going to decide right if you are saying 1000 requests in one minute then you can easily calculate the same in seconds as well fine so how many uh, requests can be served in that in a specific 
time duration means per unit of time that is how you measure the throughput right so if your latency is high let's try to correlate if your latency is high then your throughput will definitely be lesser because you will be able to serve lesser number of requests fine response time if your response time is higher then again you will, your throughput will decrease right if processing time is higher then again your throughput is going to increase for example you sent a request you invoked an api that api let's say triggers a query on the database and that query execution is taking quite long to execute right so in that case also your overall throughput of your apis will will be lesser right because more number of requests will come that queries will keep on piling the server will i mean more resources will be consumed and the response time will is going to increase the processing time is going to increase and latency is the delay right over the network so if there is a delay then latency is also going to be there fine so this is uh, what we mean by four of these terms i hope i could clarify all these four to you let me know if you did not understand any of these or you still have any doubts so yeah so that's it for today's session i hope all these four are now clear to you so see you in the next session have a great time bye